Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Clocks by Coldplay. Uh, so we have the, we're in a standard tuning here, but I have the capo at the first fret so we can play it in the original key of the song a lot easier since it's really obviously written on piano. Uh, so I'm going to transcribe that little piano part for guitars. You can choose to play that or you can just play chords that work under that part. So it's really up to you. If you have two guitar players, one can play that and one can play the chords. All right, so we have that section of the song and basically um, uh, just one other chord progression I learned. Pretty easy. So let's start up here. We're going to start with the a little bar here at the 11th fret. And then you're going to play the 12th fret on the G string. So just the top three strings, you're barring the first two at the 11th. And then you have the uh, 12th fret on the G. So you pick across those three strings. So one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two. Now the picking I use for this is I always pick in the direction of the next string that I'm gonna hit. So I have up, up, then a down on the third string since I wanna go back towards that first string. So I do that for up, up, down, up, up, down, then up and down on the second string because the next chord, I'm gonna do the exact same picking, so I need to start with the first string. So we have this. The next chord shape, we're gonna do the exact same picking, just let all the notes ring together, ninth fret on the high E, 11th on the B, and then 10th on the G. And then do that same picking pattern. Let's do that one again. So the patterns, picking pattern is done twice on that chord. And then this last one's easy. It's eight on the high E, nine on the B, 10 on the G. Same picking pattern. So twice on this first chord. I'm sorry, once on this first chord. Twice on the second chord. Then once. So as soon as the band kicks in, we go into the main chorus. All right, so that is, I'm gonna compare these to the capo. So I'm gonna say a D major chord here. Um, now you're just gonna treat the capo as the open string. So you usually play a D major two frets up on the second fret. So this is gonna be two frets up on the capo. So let's call it a D major there, even though it's obviously an E flat major chord, but D to an A minor. Play twice as long, and then the E minor. And repeat. So those are the chords that work under this. So that first chord is over that D, and you have that. And the second chord is the A. And that last chord is over that E. All right, so you can see how that works over those three chords. So you can choose to play either part, or, or if you have two guitar players, uh, play both of them. All right, so for the actual verse, when the vocals come in, it's those chords just really played on kind of this atmospheric keyboard sound. So you can just kind of continue, continue with just kind of a more subdued playing. And then maybe whenever the, that line comes back in the song, just start playing that. Now the only other part we have of the song it's really like the bridge section, and it sounds like this. So that starts with an F major bar. Full bar, the first fret there above the capo. Second fret on the G string, fourth, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. And a third fret there above the capo on the A and the D string. To a C chord and a G. Just repeat those three chords. Alright, 
so, and at the very end, it just holds that F chord. And there's a little guitar line that goes. If you don't know what that is, it's the second fret on the G above the capo. And then the fifth fret on the B above the capo. Now, if you want to try to incorporate that in the chord, hold this F major 7. Just extra credit here. Uh, you sh all you got to do here is uh, first fret there on the low E, second fret on the D, second fret there on the G, first fret on the B, high E string open. Now you can have the A string open as well. And when you're first strumming it, try to. So we have it. That little melody in there. So keep the third string as the top note. And then. And then strum across to the sixth string and the all six strings, and that top high E string will give, become the melody. You're back. All right, so just a couple of simple parts, but you can uh, fancy it up a little bit and try to play both guitar parts at the same time there in that all that F major seven chord. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.